Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, welcome to this series of Islamic ethics. We have been talking about different ethical codes um, and the Islamic etiquettes of living a good life. We have to avoid certain qualities and we have to try and acquire certain qualities. We uh, wish to be a better human being, then we have to try and remove some of the characteristics that we have and acquire some of the characteristics that we do not have. One of the um, bad characteristics that we have to try and avoid is mistrust. And the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet وسلم, and the Ahlul Bayt وسلم, talk about uh, this quality known as su'adhan or which is mistrust. Sometimes uh, the Holy Quran says uh, in ba'dadhanni ithmun some of the um, uh, thoughts that you have about other people can be sins because mistrust is based on your own mentality or your own thoughts about another person. When you are uh, already judging to a jumping to a conclusion, you are judging a person uh, without even knowing them, so you're mistrusting them. It is a quality that uh, makes you burn inside. It makes you think negative of another person and say probably they are planning probably they are suspicious, they are doing something that will harm me and this leads to uh, your sleepless nights and makes you uh, become negative of others and think evil of others. So the Holy Quran says that do not ever be suspicious of others. So being positive is a very good quality. Remaining positive is something that will make others also become positive of you. Uh, so how do we uh, get rid of this quality? How do we rid ourselves of this evil characteristic? Number one, we always try and think of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to do good for us. We believe that He will always do good. So we expect Allah to do good, therefore we should think that he will guide his servants to do good to us. We should not think that he will uh, uh, make these people do bad against us. That can also lead to a person thinking, well, it will be the Satan, Shaitan who misguides the people to do evil against us. But if we are positive, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give any power to shaitan to misguide this person uh, against us and do evil to us. So first of all, remain positive and have your trust in Allah. And hence you will not mistrust that person. One of the other ways of remaining positive is that you should try and always be good. And you should try and do good to the people. If you are doing good, then that person will see your good and... Uh, and, and not do uh, any evil against you. I came across a post once where a person said um, being good to other people and expecting them not to be bad to you is just like saying that I'm not going to eat the lion so the lion should not eat me. Uh, fine, there may be people who are uh, evil and bad in the society but not everyone is evil and bad. And therefore, you should not be mistrusting. It is a habit and it's an inside quality. I have seen people, sometimes I've come across people who are negative. They expect everyone and everyone to see that, oh no, there, there is everyone out there to get me. They will destroy my name, they will harm me, they will do this against me, they will do that against me. So please become positive. A positive person uh, does not... Uh, uh, allow others to harm them because they make their own space so positive that the person who wants to harm them will step back. But one thing to make sure is that you don't do anything wrong against the other. Imam Ali Islam says that if you have wronged a person, if you have uh, fooled a person, if you have tricked a person, then don't be proud of yourself, don't become happy. Just be 
ashamed of yourself because that person trusted you so much so that they allowed you to use your space be negative to them. You, they allowed you to trick them, they allowed you to fool them because they were so positive about you, they were so trusting in you. So it is something to be ashamed of. So hence, we should always try and keep the environment around us positive. Don't be a negative person, be positive. How can you remain positive? I always say that keep up with your prayers and also uh, do some sort of dhikr, one sort of uh, remembrance, either salawat or istighfar or something. It will keep you positive when you are uh, often remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then remember uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, uh, when you remember me, then I will remember you. And if Allah remembers us, then He will not allow shaitan to come our way. He will not allow the shaitan to take over another person against us. And therefore, you will remain in control of your own affairs. You will not uh, allow the others to interfere with your affairs. So positive energy is extremely important. Now, mistrusting other people um, is that is it is a negative quality where you don't even know what they will do, but you have already jumped to a conclusion. Yes, sometimes you have seen some bad deed from someone and you always expect them to do bad. That is also a negative quality. You see a group of people, you say, oh, so-and-so did bad. This person looks like him or he has the same color, same language or same background and this person will also do bad to me. Never do that. Um, don't let that happen to you. Don't let that mentality get to you. You have to remain positive. Believe me, you, all five fingers even in the same hand are not equal. If five fingers in one hand are not equal, then how can all members of one society be the same? So remain positive. The Ayma al Bayt al say that even if you have seen some evil deed from someone once, do not allow them to, uh, to do the same evil deed or another evil deed to you, but do not be negative about them, but just be in control of your own affairs so the person does not enter in your space and damage, um, uh, damage you in any way. Because... Uh, if you're in control of your own affairs, then the others cannot um, uh, enter your space and uh, interfere with your life. You only are allowed to break ties with people when they uh, damage your life uh, in a way that without breaking the ties, you cannot control it. But this feeling of mistrust if you do not have a past experience of a person, then how can you reach a conclusion that this person will always harm you? It is difficult to come to a conclusion without having a past experience, past experience with a person that they will damage you. So it is only a feeling, it is only a um, negative approach that leads you to believe that this person will only harm you. So remain positive and don't allow your uh, negative feeling come over you. If you don't have a good feeling about a person, don't let them feel that you have a negative feeling about them. Uh, respect them, respect their uh, dignity, but don't allow them to, uh, to enter your life. So how do you do that? Well, number one, do not go into a dealing or... Uh, a, a deep friendship where you have to deal with them all the time. So dealing is business dealing, personal dealing, a relationship or anything. So once you are out of that mode, you only see them um, and it is only just greeting and uh, no more. So you, you see them but you don't uh, deal with them where they can harm you. But if you do feel that a person can harm you, you may have to refrain from them, um, but do not remain negative about that person. If you have negative feelings about an individual, then move on in life so you don't make a habit of remaining negative about uh, other people. 
Now, uh, mistrust is uh, is a uh, not only just a quality, but it is a mode or a phase that a person gets into. If you go into a phase of becoming uh, uh, a person who is mistrust of everyone, who has mistrust of everyone, um, then try and rid your quality. Many times it can lead to depression, it can lead to stress, it can lead to many other um, mental qualities that take you into a phase where you avoid things, you don't do things. I have seen individuals who have had bad dealings and they then themselves cut themselves off from uh, society or cut themselves off from people and say, well, this person harmed me and everyone is going to harm me. And that is not a good quality to have. So you have to try and live that this individual was uh, an exceptional case. He harmed you, but not out, uh, out there. Everyone is out there to get you. Um, and that can only and only happen once you become positive yourself, once you start dealing and start meeting with people. So become sociable, um, do uh, interact with people. If you uh, uh, are a very sociable person, uh, then you will come across all sorts of people. If you are a very isolated person, if you are a person who likes a lot of personal space where they, where they do not, they're introvert and they do not mix with people, uh, then one bad experience could, could uh, damage your relationship with everyone. So I would suggest that uh, do hold on to your relationship with your family members and then your close uh, circle of friends. Do not leave them. Uh, but slowly do become an individual uh, who does not allow uh, others to hurt them and you do not hurt others. You cannot control how people treat you, but you can control how you treat the people. So be kind and be nice to everyone else. In the last phase of uh, uh, this episode, I would like to advise all of my uh, younger audience that positivity in life has positive effect on yourself, on your friends and on the society. One positive person can change many other negative people to become positive of others. Please remain positive and help others to come into a positive mode. Thank you for listening. Fiamanillah.